right, welcome back to JCR Garage. And right now I am stripping this Volvo down. You can see all the parts of so far pulled off. Uh, pretty much everything in the front end along with a foot hinge. So right now we're pulling this thing apart. And I've said earlier in the last video that this is going to the scrapyard next week. And you can see how, here how far I've gotten. I mean, I've gotten all this apart and I have to take the fenders off, the bumper off this plate off. I'm take, thinking I'm going to get these off too. And then I'm thinking I'm going to nab the coil, uh, windshield trim. See this, it's the only thing that's left in front suspension. There's a lot of rust underneath there. Uh, I'm going to nab these two doors. Because that door I might be able to use over there. Uh, tailgate maybe have to find a way to get this door open because, well, this does not work. Neither does this. So, get these doors open so I can pull interior out. Well, front seats out because those are needed in the blue Volvo. As well as the steering wheel and the plastic around the steering column. Thinking I might pull the gauges. Uh, just see what else I can get out of here uh, that Volvo over there also needs that handle the uh, indicator handle so I'm just gonna see if I might pull that over too rear axle is coming out but I'm just gonna strip doors off of this side and get what I can on the inside also get that window out before I flip it over on the side and pull the rear axle out <sighs> flip it back down see if there's anything more I can get and also, if I don't take the tailgate, I'm going to take the window and then just flatten it. Might have to pull a window out of the back door, but you know, just make sure I don't scatter any glass anywhere. Alright, so it's quite a while later and I've pulled out almost every single part I can. Well, at least from the top. Because <sighs> there is everything I pulled out. The front seats, front fenders, complete front end plastic from the inside and the headlight stuff uh, the rear window that was left and the trim tail lights speedometer stuff like that doors uh, tailgate and there's pretty much nothing left here at all right now I mean you can see the doors are off pretty much everything's off it's just a bare shell gotta get the rear axle off and have a look underneath it you can see right here it's pretty rotted up so uh, Hopefully, it's not going to be too much of an issue. Hey, if these old coins were still usable, this car would actually made me some money. There was another one here. Yeah. Well, enough about that. <clears throat> now, it is time to uh, fire up the old digger, lift it off of this dolly and flip it on its side hope not too much stuff runs out of it and then uh, see if we can unbolt that rear axle yeah I'll admit I might have had a little issue uh, containing myself here you can see the rocker is while well, it was rusted and kind of followed the, uh, the bucket on the way up hole in the floor all right well it's the next day and um, saw the last clip it got suddenly interrupted that's because well I ran out of electricity on the phone but here is a quick clip of um, destruction and um, the aftermath awaits this is the rear quarter panel on the driver's side you can recognize the wheel arch and uh, the opening for the rear door B pillar a pillar dash well the dash is in there somewhere uh, 
Yeah, I got the rear axle out. Someone came and bought the, well, floor pan and a lot of other small things. Uh, back seat and uh, all the brake lines. So we've been putting it up and down all day to just get stuff from underneath and up top of it. Uh, he even sat underneath the bend up roof and unscrewed things from inside the back here. But he's gone and uh, I have gone to flatten this thing. See, it both quarters are leaning in, the roof is a mangled mess on top here. I even pulled it off of the D pillar. Uh, there's a ton of crap underneath the roof, but you know, roof is down. Roof goes down, price goes up, isn't that what they say? Uh, the tractor is still running in the background, so that's the clickety clack you're hearing. Uh, you can see this is all flattened. This, you can see some of the uh, windscreen in there. Uh, exhaust and a few other things. Still recognize some parts of this for being a Volvo. The dash, steering column. I think the steering column is just bent out of where it was because I didn't unscrew it. Oh, the steering column is even sticking out here underneath. Well, uh, in front of, over the roof actually. Uh, bent all of this up, destroyed pretty much everything. Parked the tractor on top of this cross member. Yeah, that is the aftermath of what happened to this Volvo. Completely destroyed. There's nothing left salvageable. Well, these, the shut tops, and all the garbage that keeps falling back out. You can see the rust hole in the floor. It's just enormous. All right. Well, that is it for this time. You have witnessed the utter destruction of an old Volvo. I know a lot of people are going to hate me for this, but I'm kind of proud because I enjoy this. I enjoy destroying cars, just... Well, actually, I would just enjoy destroying all of them. Just because, you know, it releases the anger you have in you. Being able to use a big machine and just pat things on the back and make them <clears throat> fall apart. If you feel anger about this, direct it in the comments. And um, I most likely will read it. I most likely won't care because this is a rusty old 245 that's well the guy who had it said he would has said he'd been thinking about digging it well burying it for years so now it has saved another car at least one other maybe two with a few parts maybe even three because the door will fit the uh, white 244 that's sitting here so the parts have gone on to live other places and the chassis, well, is gonna become a washing machine. So thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.